everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. So today I wanted to challenge myself, as if I didn't need enough challenges, right? Um, I wanted to see if I could dress all three of my Andrea Archello uh, baby girls in their coordinating outfits. And so um, who I'm holding right here is my Aubrey Noel. And she is the Huxley sculpt. And then sitting next to her with this big smile on her face is Ashley Joy. And she's the Linux sculpt. And then way back in the back, waiting very patiently, and she's, she's even got her pacifier in, you guys. Um, she is my Princess Adelaide. And she will be, I'll be changing her last. And um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put Princess Adelaide uh, in her stroller down below here so that I have room to have uh, both twins on the table with me. And so we'll put her right here beside her, her little twin sister. And let's go ahead and lift her down here. And let's get started. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead, since we have my Ashley Joy sitting uh, here with a big smile on her face right in front. I'm going to go ahead and get her changed first. And then Aubrey Noel can, um, can wait for her sister. So yeah, I just thought it would be fun. Um, I know that my videos are usually long anyway, so I'm, going to, I'm hoping that I can get this video done and also chat about a few things um, while I'm changing them. And I wanted you to take note that these two girls are wearing their matching water, uh, watermelon outfits. And um, I had gone online to see if I could find another pair of watermelon shoes, uh, little sandals, um, to go along with the outfit. Uh, my shoe fairy uh, had sent, you know, these pair along with some other pairs. And so I wanted to get another pair to go. With the watermelon outfits that um, Emma Bennett had sent with these girls and I found them and so they're both wearing their watermelon sandals. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you the outfits. You'll um, you'll recognize the outfits. Let's see I think I'm going to change Ashley Joy into this one and this is also from um, Jan Binkley the shoe fairy. She sent these and you've seen these on the girls before. Um, this one has a heart on the front. It's got a little tutu all the way around the back. And it's also got um, little butterfly sleeves. And along with that, she is going to be wearing um, these pretty pink shoes that the shoe fairy sent as well to go along with the outfit. And then um, she's going to be wearing these pretty pink bows. So let's go ahead and get started with Miss Ashley Joy and um, see if we can meet the challenge here. Anyway, I have a lot to share with you today. Um, first of all, Frankie. Um, Frankie seems to be the star of the show, and so I wanted to share him first. Um, I'll go ahead and, and put a, a picture and a recent picture of him um, in the video right now so you can see him and see how he's grown. So there's Frankie, and I'll tell you what, each day he just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and um, he he's uh, he's flying, you guys. Um, you know, he doesn't fly way up in the sky, you know, up in the air, I shouldn't say sky, because he's still indoors, but um, he flies, he can fly low to the ground, he can fly up onto, um, like, my coffee table. He's really uh, making a lot of headway, a lot of progress, and um, yesterday... I tried, uh, I brought my, my nice big uh, cage in that my husband had restored for me. It's a huge big cage, uh, animal cage, and I brought it into the cottage and I put it on the fireplace hearth and, um, you know, to see if he would fit in it and if he would be able to uh, have his heat lamp close enough to him to keep him uh, warm because he's still, he's only... Well, uh, Saturday, let's see, let me think, what day is today? Oh, well, that's today. Today he is uh, two weeks old, 
And so he still needs his warming light and, um, you know, all his kind of uh, baby accommodations. So um, anyway, I did try putting him in the cage and it didn't work out because he couldn't get close enough to his warming light. So um, I put him back into the cage that you all have seen, the one with the three, his, his three level condo. And he's very happy there. And I think for the next couple of weeks, he'll be okay and in there. Um, he fits really well. He's not too big, not too small. He's just right. So that's the update on Frankie. And then I wanted to show you some pictures of my garden. Uh, my garden's been growing really, really well too. And so um, let me go ahead and show you some pictures um, that I took this morning of my garden. And so that's my garden, and um, as you can see, everything is just really doing well. Um, now, I do have a challenge with the, with the pole beans, and I had this same challenge last year. All of a sudden, um, the leaves of my pole beans are starting to be eaten by, by either um, a bug, like a beetle, or an animal, like a bunny or a bird or something like that. I'm not sure, but... Um, they're, you know, it's like last year's all over again where they eat the leaves all the way down to the stem and it just destroys the plant and they just don't grow back. So anyway, this year, um, it's been raining the past couple of days, so I can't, I couldn't do it, um, the past couple of days, but I have this, um, insecticide and it's called Seven and I'm going to be putting that on the leaves, um, to get you know to keep the bugs off because last year all of the bean crop was destroyed that we that we planted and I'm not going to have that happen this year so that's my challenge this year is to uh, get rid of the whatever is eating my whoops whatever is eating my beans um, has to go it, they just have to go because my husband and I have put too much work into getting you know, the beans planted, and we're really looking forward to the beans, and they're really looking healthy and stuff. And then to have whatever it is, um, you know, destroy the plant, it's just devastating. So that's my challenge. Um, I also, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to put a, I think I put a picture of there in there of my um, tomatoes. Each of my tomato plants, they're cherry tomatoes, and um, each of my plants now have cherry tomatoes on them. And they're still green you know they still have a ways to go before they ripen but um, anyway so they're doing really really well and they don't have bugs and I think I forgot to show you the shoes these shoes um, were also sent by the shoe fairy to go along with these outfits and they're kind of like a lacy pattern with a pretty pink bow so so far so good um, the garden's doing great. Frankie's doing great. Uh, oh, I wanted to tell you all about Frankie. Um, so Frankie is absolutely a, a male. He's a male turkey. And um, I was, I've been researching, you know, how do you tell a male from a female? Well, there's, a, there's about three different methods that you can, uh, that you can use. But the, the most obvious one is that he has started strutting. And um, what I mean by strutting, uh, like what I do is I have him, when I have him down on the floor with me and I let him run around and stuff, what he'll do is he'll, when he's very close to me, he'll, um, not all the time, but he'll like kind of uh, uh, get down low and have his wings out and uh, his tail feathers go straight up and he's like strutting like a male would do to a female to try to attract her attention. And so he's starting, do, starting to do that. Um, it started a couple of days ago. And so I know absolutely that he's a male because females do not do that. So um, I guess um, I chose the right name, even though uh, Frankie could also be used for a girl. But, um, you know, I think Frankie is just the perfect boy name for him. So I just, I've been wanting to tell you guys that, but I've forgotten. Okay, so Ashley Joy is all done, and we are going to switch places.
with these two. Whoops, sit up here. There you go. Yeah, she looks really cute in that outfit. Okay. So here we have Aubrey Noel. And you saw her in the beginning. And she's got her watermelon shoes on too. See? I'm, I was so thrilled to be able to find another pair of watermelon shoes before they uh, sold out this summer. Um, this has been about, it was probably about uh, a couple of months ago. Or it was right after uh, the shoe fairy sent me the shoes. And uh, I thought, oh my goodness. See, she had no idea that the girls had these watermelon outfits. Because I believe that she sent me the shoes uh, well after... Uh, no, well before I got these um, these girls. I know that she didn't know that um, that the girls had these watermelon outfits. It was just like a, a huge coincidence that she sent the watermelon shoes. So um, uh, anyway, yeah, it was before I got these girls in their in their cute little watermelon outfits. Okay, Missy. Um, okay, so uh, let me talk about the rest of my um, my garden. And that is, I my peonies are done. Um, I, sh I showed you uh, some beautiful uh, photos of the peonies when they were in full bloom. And um, they are done. The rain, we've had some huge rainstorms and the rain just destroyed them. And so I didn't want to show those pictures again. But um, anyways, the peonies are done. And I wanted to show you this outfit. Super, super cute little, little uh, lacy bow up there, a little tutu all the way around. See, these, these outfits are, um, they're coordinating outfits, not, they don't match, but they are the same design. So, yeah. So, yeah, the peonies are done. Um, what else? Uh, I have these beautiful blue flowers that I took a picture of um, this morning for you as well. And, you know, before I looked up the names of them, but I, you know, it's, it's been like a year since I've uh, talked about them. And so I'm going to go ahead and put a photo in for you right now, show you how beautiful they are. Um, and I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll look up the name again and I'll put them in the photo. And so here they are. Aubrey Noel. So, so far I've got two of my girls all dressed up. Yes, I do. I love these these two. I haven't had them on for a while, but they are precious to me. And then these are her shoes. They go like, yeah, they go like this. And they have um, like a lacy, uh, well, they look like crochet, actually. And then they have this sort of um, basket weave um, pattern in the front here with little bows on the on the sides and these are the lacy socks and they match the lacy socks that Ashley Joy is wearing so here we go yeah this is fun I wanted to get them all dressed up and to be coordinated together and uh, I thought it would be a fun thing just to go ahead and do a video with you guys to give you an update on what I've been doing this week was um, was another busy week we went uh, we went grocery shopping on Wednesday and on um, and we ended up getting our um, our Boston cream donuts and what we've started doing is we have we when we, we go uh, do our main shopping at Walmart and then um, after that if you know if we need groceries from Aldi we'll go to Aldi but um, anyway so when we went shopping we have this uh, sheets it's a gas station and uh, they have really good um, um, fresh freshly ground coffee there so we took our donuts and uh, we went to the sheets station we gassed our our van up and um, we had our very favorite donuts and uh, that was a lot of fun that was really good it's always you know after shopping it's it always um, it's really good just to have a little snack to to freshen up because shopping is a big job, you know, and it's especially a big job whenever <laughs> whenever we get home and then we have to put all the groceries away. So, OK, 
Okay, so um, gosh, here's both the girls. Let me see if I'm going to be able to have room for this one here. And then we are going to bring up Princess Adelaide. And she is the princess of the group. Yep, she is. She's even got her little princess crown on. And she's all dressed up for Theme Thursday, which was white and accessories. But um, I'm going to change her now into this outfit. Let's see. And this is um, sort of like, you know, it's the same style as the other ones, but it's just a different pattern. It's got the tutu all the way around, little butterfly sleeves. I thought she looked really pretty in that. She's got beautiful light blue eyes. And then um, what I wanted to do was put these uh, Tootsie shoes on her because they have a daisy, daisies on the sides and on the bottoms, yellow daisies. And I thought that would be really cute to go along with the daisies on her outfit. Black and white and green, they, they go with anything, you know. Love the polka dots. <laughs> That's really cute. And then these lacy socks I'm going to uh, put on her. Now this outfit came with these with these socks, but uh, I want to put on these lacy socks to go out to coordinate with her twin sisters. So let's get you changed, little Missy. And uh, let's see, I think this has got buttons along the back. This is a uh, vintage outfit that Carrie of Carrie's Little Cuties had sent me quite a while ago for my girls. And um, this one just happens to fit uh, Princess Adelaide really, really well. Of course, it also fits my my Princess Chrissy. They're, they, they seem to be about the same size. We're going to I'm gonna, um, you know what, I always forget to put her princess crown back in, so I'm going to leave her princess crown in, but I'm going to take her bows off. Yeah, she came with that princess crown. It's, um, it's a sparkly one. It's got rhinestones in it, and I just love it on her because she is a princess. She's, the prin she's, she's actually the very first one that Andrea Arcello um, sculpted. If you'll remember my story that I told when I got her and um, she was the first one and then she she's all pouty and stuff because she wanted to have uh, some sisters to play with and so um, Andrea decided to make these two uh, twins so that Princess Adelaide wouldn't be lonely anymore so she'd have some sisters to play with. But uh, unfortunately, Princess Adelaide got used to frowning like that, <laughs> and so I think that's going to be a oops, that's going to be a permanent fixture. But um, I love it. I think she's an, an adorable little frowner. So I'm going to have to take this onesie off. Um, I'm going to go get another onesie that is a um, a no sleep onesie, and I'll be right back. So here it is, and this matches um, the polka dot onesie that the other, uh, her baby sister is wearing, her, tw her twin sister. Actually not her twin sister, um, her sister. <laughs> um, she's, th these actually aren't triplets, they are um, twins and um, an, el an elder sister, which is Princess Adelaide. So go ahead and take her onesie off. It's so handy. You can see how handy this pillow is um, to have the girls um, or any of the babies lean against. There we go. I think I better take her crown off and I'll put it with her bows so that I, re I will remember to put it back on. Because in each uh, video that I've done with her, I keep forgetting um, to put it back on. And she always gets mad at me. That's why she has that frown on, because I, I, I always upset her, you know, uh, doing one thing or another that's just not right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So if we do this arm first, um, 
Yeah, Holly, Holly Church gave me this little hint uh, because this little girl's got a straight arm and then she's got a bent arm. And I always, I always like to go to the left first for some reason when I'm dressing my girls. But um, with this one, I have to, um, if I go to the right arm first, then the outfits uh, can go on uh, so much easier that way. So thank you, Holly, for that handy hint. I remembered it just as I was starting to undress this little one, or get her dressed, actually. Okay, so here's her pretty outfit. We can get the snaps. It snaps in the back, so it's pretty easy. It snaps at the crotch. Slip that on over her head. Oh, another thing I was going to tell you: um, we we when we went shopping, um, we weren't required to see what I just did, you guys. I need to do her right arm first because it's the straight arm. And then her left arm because it is the shorter bent arm and it goes much easier. But anyway, um, here in West Virginia, um, we, it's kind of like a, it's not a mandatory anymore thing to wear masks. And so, um, but you know, some people are, some people aren't. And uh, so, my husband and I, um, when we went shopping this week, we didn't wear wear any masks, and uh, uh, most people were not wearing masks. So, anyway, things are starting to get back to normal, and it felt good to walk around without uh, having to try to breathe through a mask, and, um, you know, we could see people's expressions, and people were smiling, and... Um, but that's just the state of, you know, that's just West Virginia. Uh, I know that all states are different. All states are different. Yes, they are. And uh, different locations in West Virginia are different, too. So, uh, anyway, that's just how it goes, you know. I'm going to go ahead and put her bows on. And I've chosen these light blue bows for her outfit. Yeah, it makes it nice, um, you know, most people by now have had their, uh, their shots and are safe, so. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put her shoes on, and let's see, we're at 22 minutes right now, which isn't too bad for me. Um, I usually go about that long, and to dress three, three baby girls is pretty darn good. I think I might have, um, I might be doing a record, a record dressing thing here. Yeah. So yeah, everything is going well here at the farm. Um, I'm, I've just been so happy taking care of Frankie. He's my pride and joy right now. He's all I really want to talk about. <laughs> um, he, what he likes to do, uh, whenever I go into the cottage and I sit down in my easy chair, I always open the cage door, he flies out, and then um, he ends up on my shoulder, and then he likes to cuddle back there in my hair uh, on my shoulder. So um, I think he's, he's really gotten connected to me as his mom, and um, I've gotten connected to him too. So... Anyway, we'll just see how that goes. Um, it'll be fun to have him on the farm. Yeah, little Frankie. But he's going to, you know, he's a cutie pie right now, but he's going to turn into a big, big turkey bird. I mean, he really is. He's going to be a big male turkey bird. So um, I'm planning on putting him, uh, keeping him up in the kitty barn that has a an enclosed uh, big yard attached to it. It's enclosed, meaning enclosed all the way around and on the top too. Um, you know, so he, so uh, predators, uh, he doesn't have to worry about predators. And um, so that's the plan. And what I'd love for him to be able to do during the daytime is just, you know, walk around the farm and uh, peck on the, you know, peck on the ground and uh, that, you know, like what turkeys do. They they like to feed off of things, bugs and things like that. So. Um, it's going to be a process for sure. Um, everything is a learning process right now for us. For me, I should say. 
for me and Frankie. Yeah, we'll let you have your pacifier. She really likes it. So here you go. There you have it. And I've got all the all the sisters all dressed up. Let me see if I can bring. Let's see here. I think I'll just leave her right here. And then bring little Ashley Joy around like this. And I think you're going to be able to see all three. Well, we're going to try anyway. <laughs> so um, anyway, everyone, so I guess I did it. It's in 25 minutes. So it took me 25 minutes to dress three girls into their outfits and accessories. Not too bad. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed my video and enjoyed seeing Frankie and um, my girls get their uh, their outfits on and uh, seeing my garden update and everything. I uh, hope you're all having a good weekend. I know that I am. And um, anyways, thanks a lot for visiting today. And until we meet again, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.